welcome to this week's episode of G-Side TV. The show to see. Coming up today on this week's live show, we have... Today's news headline. Our weekly weather report. A fashion spectacular. And our special sports report. And, believe it or not, contestants of BDT! Obsessed. And our weekly game show player cards right. To see you, to see ya. Come on everyone, you know the catchphrase. Okay, let's nice. try again. Nice to see you, to see ya. Nice! That's good. Now to the new studio for today's news. Welcome to G-Side News. My name is Alicia Jeffrey. On today's show, Boys Toilet Lock. Hello, my name is Anaya Bibi reporting from Moonside News. As you can see, I am standing outside of the boys' toilet that have been mysteriously blocked. Right now, I'm going to interview Mr. Ahmed, that is one of the Greenside teachers, to see his side of the story. So what do you think happened to the boys' toilet? Well, last week I saw Miss Dietz come down and lock the boys' toilet. I was wondering what was going in there. But today, I saw water coming out underneath the doors. So Mr. Ahmed believes that the toilets have been flooded. How, however, another witness believes something else. Now I'm here with Jamai, a student from Greenside. Jamai, what do you think about this big situation? I think somebody st stuck a lot of tissue paper down, down the toilet and flooded it. It wasn't me. So, another interesting twist in this tale. Now I'm interviewing Rafi, the sign manager. Rafi, what do you think of this big mess? I'm going to get my plunger, stick it down the toilet, and I won't stop until they're fixed. Is it a flood? Is it blocked? Either way, Rafi, the sign man, will save the day. My name is Anaya from Green Sign News. Back to the studio. Fresh veggies in school. Hello, I'm Jadavia Stevens from GPS Daily Line, reporting from Greece's Healthy Vegetable Garden, where they grow delicious and healthy vegetables, all for green sized school lunches. Hello, I'm with Tiana, a green sized student who is school dinner. So who do you so what do you think is better? Homegrown food or shop bought food? I think it's homegrown food because the vegetables we grow here are grown with love, so they're really tasty. Hello, and I'm with Kasim, a green sized student who is Pala. Do you think you like to score dinners? Well, I've never tried school dinners, but they always smell nice when I go to the pool. And then they always look very colourful. Two of Greenside's younger gardeners. So what do you like about gardening? Well, it's fun to come outside because we can garden all these vegetables and, and learn where they come from. So that concludes our time in the Greenside's healthy vegetable garden. And I think that we can all agree that homegrown food is the best. Back to the studio. Enjoy your day and join us at 12 o'clock. Thanks for that awesome update, guys. Now over to Hannah with the weather. Hello, and welcome to G-Side weather. It's a bit chilly up in the north at a temperature of 6 degrees. But as we head south, it begins to get warmer as there's 14 degrees in Manchester and 16 degrees in Northampton. But it's a massive 25 degrees in London. So grab your sun cream and have a fab day. Thanks for that report, Hannah. Don't forget to pack your sun cream. And your sunglasses. Actually, I fancy a bit of sun now. Oh, yeah. Can I get some ice cream? Yeah, let's go over to nap break. Sunflower oil, fresh fled taste that will make you shine.
stripes, we want white. We want the red stripes, but that's all right. As you can see, Aquafresh is all three. Aquafresh is for the family. The red stripe helps fight plaque and protects gums. The white stripe has fluoride to fight decay. And there's a blue stripe for fresh breath. So Aquafresh gives three-in-one protection for your family. Brush, brush, red stripe, blue stripe, white. Brush, brush, gurgle, gurgle, it's just right. Aquafresh has to be the only one with all three. Three-in-one protection for your family. Welcome back to the show. Next up, we have fashion. Let's go over to Aisha and Paris. I'm at Paris Fashion Week where the whole world's going crazy over EBC collection. Check it out! I've always wanted to do that. Teams are out, Sean, great goalkeeper. There's uh, he's Aladdin, Asia, top goal scorer last season. 
Love Day is a centre back, very good defender. Kasim, their central midfielder, he pulls the strings. Matt Mood, he's a bit of a loose cannon, but he's got a good shot on him. Jamai's got a very important neck, and Santonio. And it's kick off. What will happen? They're passing it around, very silky. It's like watching Barcelona here. Oh, look at those skills. It's so silky. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. Look. Look at him go. Turning around so agilely. It's amazing stuff. Wow. Will he get the ball? It's a nutmeg. Oh, the manager's not happy. I wouldn't be. Oh, oh, so close there. He nearly scored, but he didn't. So, what can you do? Crossbar. It's a free kick. Oh. It's a handball. I think that looks like a handball to me. They're arguing. Let's see what the ref says. Highly visible penalty. Scores it. Wow. Striker. Unbelievable. What a finish. They're all celebrating very happily, which is good. Uh, manager's not happy. I wouldn't be. Oh, he's tackled him. What a stop from Sean. The big cat. They're kicking it around. And he saved it. How do you think the game went? Really tough game. My players passed it around, around a lot, and then at the end they just wanted it more. What do you think about the penalty decision? It was clearly penalty. It definitely hit his hand. Whoever thinks it's not a penalty, they're just a sore loser. How does it feel to lose? Well, what do you think every manager feels when he loses? Don't ask silly questions. What do you think about the match? Well, one of my players had a twisted ankle and one of them had, my goalkeeper had a really bad paper cut. How do you recover from that? What do you think about the penalty? It was the dodgiest penalty in the world. The referee must have lost his glasses. The green time manager says it was clearly a penalty and anyone who thinks not is a sore loser. Do I look like a sore loser to you? I had enough of this stupid interview. What are you looking at? I'm here with man of the match. Santonio, how does it feel? I feel good, I feel proud, and I think that it was a good match. Yeah, we won! One nil against the Los Angeles! Top of the league! With the losing captain, Kasim, how does it feel? Well, my team was playing really good until that stupid penalty. We feel cheated. Do you think it was a penalty? Either way, g still won. This is Soraya for G-Sides TV. Back to the studio. What an exciting story. So on our sofa here, we have our ex-England football manager, Azim Iqbal. What did you think of the game? It was great. I'm really excited about this team. There are a lot of stars for the Greenside football team. Speaking of stars, we have the Britain Scott Talent contestants. So we'll give chance for Emily to calm down and go hop to an ad break. Stale smells up here often come from down there in your carpet. Smells from your dog and tobacco too. Well, shaken back from Clady's here. It's all you have to do. Do the shake and back and put the freshness back. Do the shake and back and put the freshness back. When your carpet smells fresh, your room does too. Every time you vacuum, remember what to do. Do the shake and back and put the freshness back. Shake and back in three fragrances. Shake and back from Glade. Hello, welcome back to the show. Go on, you do this bit. I know you love it. We have the Britain Scott Talent contestants right here, right now, in the studio with me. Let's bring them in. Hi, welcome back to Side TV. The show to see. On the sofa this morning, we have our three finalists from Britain's Got Talent. Welcome to the show, guys. Let's have a look at your journey to the finals. I love this! The sky is on fire, fire, fire. She is walking on fire.
to work to get where you are now in the final. I was in hours of rehearsal. I've been on a strict diet. I've been drawing since I was two, man. So, guys, how did it feel on being the final on BGT? Because this is one of the most popular shows on British television. We're big fans, as you can see. It's an amazing feeling and I've always wanted to be here, but it's a lot of pressure, especially with my cold. I've had to really rest my voice. <coughs> you can kind of hear. I'm super excited and well prepared after hours and hours of practice. I was born for this! I smashed this final! You have so much for doing this, guys, then. All the best luck on Saturday. Yeah, I wish you guys so much luck. I will be definitely watching without a doubt. The next episode of BGT. When? Saturday night, 8 pm sharp. Who will you vote for? Compose yourself. Calm down. Right, back to business. Next up, a wonderful end off to our show, we have. The Game Show. Play your cards right. Now let's hear it one more time. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice. Great. And our weekly prize today is an Audi TT. I'm big twinner, I can't play! You, you can't win it, you're on the show. <gasps> Good evening, and welcome to Play Your Cards Right. Nice to see you, to see you. And I come from Shepherd's Bird! Time to start the game! Before we start our show, we have a special audience challenge. Please welcome Louise! Hi! I'm Louis and I come from London. You have one chance! The first card is. What do you reckon, Louis? Higher. 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 Well, let's see. It's a king! Two. 